Hi guys, this is a Spanish of Newt Care Guide Part 2. In this care guide, we'll be going over a bit more in depth in basically everything, and there's a bonus feature, which is substrate. You might be wondering why they're going crazy. It's because I tossed a worm in, and they're looking for it. Once they smell it, they go crazy. And that's one of the perks of having a Spanish of Newt. They're like amazing feeders to watch. So the first thing we'll be going over is feeding. The first thing that I would look to to feed your newts is newt pellets. As they are very nutritional, as some brands put ev like basically everything in them. Brine, shrimp, blood worms and earthworms. Very nutritional. Good for calcium as well. But if you're breeding your newts... You should look to feed them earthworms as they're very fattening. And bloodworms are good for occasional use. And if you're in America, brine shrimp would be good. In the UK, there isn't many places that sell brine shrimp. The next thing we'll be going over is cleaning. You should clean the tank out for one newt every three to five weeks if you have two newts every two to three weeks as they produce double the amount of waste you should use dechlorinator do you know you have to use this as newts can get chlorine poisoning as their skin is very permeable and they breathe and drink through their skin which is pretty cool i use aquasafe as I said, not sponsored by the way, by Tetra. Protects fish, makes tap water safe for fish, and neutralises harmful substances. Basically, a dechlorinator. You have to do 10% water changes every week to stop ammonia levels building up. Or every two weeks if you have a filter. 10%. Are you do it every two weeks? But I also add um, Easy Balance, which reduces the number of water changes as it lowers ammonia levels. You can get that from your local pets at home. Or if you're in America, they probably sell it at PetSmart or Petco. Another thing to use is Vivarium Cleaner. You should use specialised Vivarium Cleaner for amphibians and reptiles as bleach or dettol can kill your newts as that if they breathe it in well absorb it then that could be detrimental i use beefa deep clean long lasting disinfectant it's good for deep cleaning highly effective versus salmonella no dyes and perfumes and it's suitable for all reptile and amphibian housing to clean the plants not live plants of course artificial plants you should use um the deep clean and um just like use your fingernails to just like get all the dirt off the next thing we'll be talking over is lighting newts don't need well this type of newt spanish of newts don't need any sort of uvb but it would be beneficial if you're going for a bioactive enclosure you should use led for the plants of course the newts are just going a little bit crazy they they are starting to attack each other. Well, this is what happens when you get two newts in a feeding frenzy. So yeah. The next thing we'll be going over is substrate. The substrate should be um like eco earth if you're going for like a, a very naturalistic like a wild type. But I wouldn't recommend this as you wouldn't find the waste to clean out. Or you could use a drainage layer, which is like these little balls. You've probably seen them before, but yeah, they're pretty good. Or you could just use no substrate at all. Some people say you should use sand and um, gravel, but this is really bad because newts are bottom dwellers. Basically, they just eat from the bottom. So a pellet, they could digest, well, ingest a piece of gravel or sand and then they can get impacted. It's like why you shouldn't use sand or gravel for leopard geckos as it could be ingested and then they can get impacted. So I just use no substrate. 
And the last thing is temperature. If you're in America, well, I said this in the part one, but you don't have to watch part one because I'm basically going over everything in part two, is 50 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Or if you're in the UK, 10 to 22 degrees Celsius. So that was basically just some information about the Spanish of Nuke Care Guide more in depth. If you like this video, please consider liking and I make weekly videos. So if you don't want to miss them, please subscribe. Bye.